Hello, my name is Suspianko. In this video I will talk about the Gerber Outdoor Gator Filet Knife. As we look on the boxing material, we see on top Gerber Outdoor Gator Filet. The Gator is basically the handle style. It's a rubberish material that looks like Gator skin. It's a fixed blade, of course, a flexible uh, knife blade. On the back side we see some specs there. The blade length is 6 inches over the length 11.14. Uh, the weight we have there and it's a 440 uh, steel blade. Uh, that is not exactly on there what kind of 440 it is. So quite likely more towards 440A, uh, the gate grip handle as I did mention and uh, of course it has a, a fine edge and the sheet has a ceramic sharpener integrated full tang molded plastic sheet. Uh, there's some information about how to sharpen it. It's a simple pull through sharpener as the picture show it there. A really nice feature that the sharpener is integrated in the tip of the sheet there. Uh, if you are outdoors and you're gonna clean some fish or something else that for sure comes in handy. Uh, because of the slot, of the size of the slot that is basically only for this thin uh, blade, uh, thicker ones you can't use on that sharpener. Uh, there we see the website gerbergear.com uh, made in China unfortunately that is how that is so the knife itself has a nice grip nice uh, lanyard hole the hole is about six millimeters so paracord goes through it really well we have here a bit of dimple on both sides so you could hold it in that fashion as well I like the gate grip style since Gerber did come out with that many years ago. Uh, that is nice in the hand, gives you some slip resistance and is still soft. Uh, on this model here they had a bit trouble with the bend of the, the blade. The blade is not straight, it goes over to the left side there. I don't know if the camera going to see it. It's a uh, from uh, the end of the handle to the tip, I would say it's about five millimeters off to the left side, which is pretty, pretty much. But on the other side, this is a, a flexible blade, so it's for for a uh, fillet and all that. So for me, that is not that much of a problem. If that would be a, a thicker blade that is not flexible, then that would not work. As we look at the sheet, it's a hard plastic injection molded deal. We see the Gerber part here. It locks a little bit in there with friction. Uh, the black part is with a belt loop. A belt loop is not that much. We also see that part here that you could use with a with a button and then it would dangle and swivel on that. If you want to have that, it's relatively thin. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> it's relatively thin and uh, springy. But uh, usually, the the filler knife you're not gonna wear that much on the belt. Uh, it's it's good that there is a sheet, so if you put it in the tackle box and all that, that it is protected. But uh, the the belt loop is for sure on the thinner, on the weaker side. There. Then we have on the bottom the grey part that is with the sharpener we see there the ceramic rods, simply two rods. Uh, the part is locked in here and there and you can go with a small tiny screwdriver and pry that open so you can take off the grey part and then you see those ceramic rods are just inlaid in there. I did take it apart and uh, check that out. Uh, that may be needed in case the the ceramic rods get get uh, 
an angle or something from too much sharpening you can turn them around so you have double the lifetime at least again for a uh, resharpening you simply use that as a pull through sharpener so you go go in here downwards and then you simply pull it a couple times through that's all what it is really really simple uh, what would have maybe help a bit is if that part here would be more flat and less less rounded so as the people put it on the on the table or by the boat somewhere that they could have a bit less of a of a of a wiggle if there would be already a bit of an angle down there but uh, the resistance by resharpening on those ceramic on those white ceramic rods is really not much so that should work as always if you resharpen knives be careful that uh, needs a bit of skill set that is not something that you should try the first time on a shaky boat as we put it in it simply interlocks with the sheet by friction there is no separate locking part but once it's in there it's not going to come out the wiggle what we hear is the ceramic rods that have a bit, little bit play in their slots where they sit in but uh, all in all it's for sure nice uh, also with the lanyard hole so you can put on a lanyard if you want that's what I gonna do a bit in a, in a bright color uh, neon orange or neon red paracord I gonna use so we see where the, the knife is uh, for cleaning and all that the blade has a nice polished finish so that should not get affected too much with salt water and all that uh, as always you should after cleaning fish and all that you should uh, put the knife a bit in in a fresh water and rinse it off and then maybe apply a light coat of oil that would for sure help and not hurt anything so that much about the Gerber outdoor gate door fillet knife